everybody, this is Yudafu and welcome to, um, Stuart Mal Matafiglio's new game. He's the guy who made Stranger Than Fiction that I really, really enjoyed. Um, not sure what I'm supposed to do here, but I will figure it out. Okay. Oh. Okay. Urgent. The Phoenix Corporation headquarters security has been compromised. All personnel evacuate immediately. Tempest Engage. Security room locked. Emergency services contacted. ETA, 3 hours, 17 minutes. Visitor has logged on to Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. Hello, is anyone there? What the hell is going on here? Christina has logged on to Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. There's a fire! Everybody evacuate the building! Steve has logged on to Phoenix Corporation's Communications Network. Oh, it's you, Chris. This is pretty bad. I can smell the smoke from here. Steve? Why are you still here? I thought you'd gone home. I was working back late. Why do you care? Troy has logged on to FedEx Corporation's communications network. There's a building on fire. Why are they instant messaging each other? Lionel has logged on to Phoenix Corporation communications network. This is the CEO of FedEx Corporation telling everybody in the facility to evacuate the building. Security staff, security staff, report in immediately. The security staff are dead. I found them lying, found them lying dead in the control room. Then I saw a warning on the screen about a fire, so I logged in. What happened to them? I killed them, and I lit the fire. Who the hell are you? Is this a joke? This is no time for this now, visitor. If you are the one, if you are in the control room, then you have to coordinate us in escaping. You need one of the security codes. Security codes. The code is R F T S. What is that? Is this some kind of game to you? Security code confirmed. Security system online. Beginning scan. Floor B three. It worked! Now, you may have a difficult choice coming up. I'm afraid. Calculation's complete. Fire on board. Floor. Basement. Three? I'm guessing. One casualty unavoidable. Candidates. Troy. Steve. What does that mean? Our visitor is going to have to choose between... between keeping me or Steve alive. This won't be a hard decision. Kill that asshole. I'm not dying for him. My job here is done. I'm ready to die. The fire's growing. Visitor, you need you will be led through how the system works. Hurry up! Urgent. Please enter your security system orders immediately. The chat system has been locked until your decision is made. Water will come from here when the switch is on. Water puts out fire, it also drowns people. Turn off the switch to stop it flowing. This fire will grow every turn. Fire cannot move through locked doors. Click a lock to lock it. You may only lock one. You can click switches while a person is standing next to them to turn them off. Click arrows to move people. Go one turn without the fire water, water spreading to, pro to progress. Um. Uh. Oh, uh, what am I? What am I doing? Oh, wait. Oh, I think I. Let's restart. Okay. So here. Oh, sh. Ah. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Uh, I'm locking you. Moving you up. Turning it on. I gotta start over. Okay. Go. Uh, oh, I 
it didn't turn the water on. Casualties? Troy. Troy was kind of a dick anyway. Phew. That was tense for a bit. Glad it's over. That was tense. Oh my goodness. How can you talk like that when someone just died? Hey, you died multiple times. He had this coming. He tried to kill us. He did try to kill you. Really? I'm pretty sure he just saved you. Not his best decision. Oh, is, is, was Steve the asshole? Should I, should I have killed Steve? Oh, haha. -ha. Smug bastard. So you two know each other? Yep, me and Steve have had the misfortune of working together for the past few for the last few years. Tell me about it, Chris. Don't you wish you had gotten work in Troy's department instead? Shouldn't you be lo too looking for shouldn't you two be w looking for a way out? We're not old like we're not all old like you. We can walk and type. Thank you very much. The main hallway is completely destroyed by fire. I can't get through it. I'm having the same problem. I found a staircase up next to the floor, though. Oh, same here. There's one here, too. Shall we head up? Sure, why not? You know, things could bad could go happen, you know. Okay, I'm heading up now. Beginning s scan for basement two. Why are you starting in the basement? Our visitor's being very quiet. What's your story? Me? I don't work here. I was just making a delivery. A delivery? Let me guess. Tires? Pop-up books? No, stationary. Those are some strange guesses, though. What exactly do you do here? You know, that's a quick, great question. What do we do here, Lionel? Dun 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 dun. I know you got that message, Lionel. Forget it. I wasn't expecting an answer anyway. To be honest, no one really knows what Fenix Corporation really does. I have a feeling we're gonna find out. The company built, buys random items, toilet seats, guitars, you name it, in bulk then sells it all off for next to no profit. We're almost certain it's a front. But it pays well, so we stay here. Well, Christina works here because no one else wants her. But that's different. Oh, burn! How about you shut up while I ask Lionel a serious question? I want to know about the cockatiels. What? Cockatiels? Oh, the cockatiel story. For nearly a year, we'd been constantly getting in shipments of five cockatiels by the, of live cockatiels by the thousands. God knows how many birds they bought. But the cockatiels were never seen again. No one knows what was done with them. It's an animal rights issue. Whoa, that is weird. What's going on, Lionel? We're, we were buying cockatiels looking for a phoenix. I don't get it. Neither do I. You don't have to get it. They didn't even answer the question. Dun 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 dun! Has anyone found any anything interesting on the second floor. We're going to stop this episode here. Let the suspense build. Um, Like I said in the beginning, this was made by Stuart Ma Matafiglio, guy who made Stranger Than Fiction. Uh, looks pretty good so far. I'm really interested. It's a different kind of gameplay. Um, it seems more like every decision you make can alter the game. And I like games like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, um, leave a like, a comment, and maybe subscribe to my video to my channel to see more videos that I'm going to do in the future. Um, 
and I will see you next time. Stay delicious.